Hey everyone, it's me. Um, just wanted to give an update. I am a little bit behind on this, so you'll have to forgive me. Um, I have finally gotten a surgery date and a surgery approval, so I'm super excited about that. Um, it came rather quickly, more than I expected actually. Um, last month I went in and got all of my final uh, workups done and within less than a week I was called back and they said that they had a couple questions. So I, um, they were asking me about previous surgeries and then said, um, we're looking for a date for your surgery and we're thinking June 3rd and I was floored. Um, I had no idea it would come that quickly once I got approved and sure enough it just kind of went lickety split. So um, I'm really excited. I cried when I got the date. And now my challenge is doing the pre-op diet. I was supposed to start the pre-op diet on May 24th, but did not because I was moving on May 25th and there was no way I was going to reduce my calories down to 800 and, um, and do that while moving. So I waited until the 29th, and from the 29th until now, I have lost 10.6 pounds. Um, it's not nearly what the doctor wanted me to lose before surgery. He wants me to lose 20 to 30 pounds, mostly because I gained weight during my nutrition program. Um, just a lot of non-compliance and not doing what I was supposed to be doing, and that's completely my fault, and I take responsibility for it. So I'm hoping that... Um, being extra, extra, extra good and really working my ass off the next week or so, I'll be able to at least get down 15 pounds and, um, 15 total, not the, just this week. And hopefully we'll be able to, um, see the progress that my doctor wants to see. I'm only, um, I want to say about five pounds more than when my surgeon first met me for the first time a year ago. He wants me under that, but I think that as long as I'm at that weight, um, I'll have another week um, and a half before my surgery, and I can lose some additional weight. So um, I'm at least going in the right direction, and I'm staying positive and understanding that um, this is where I need to go. So next week, I have two classes. I not well. One class, one appointment. The first class is the nutrition class that teaches me how to eat post-surgery. And the second class is going to, not class, appointment, I keep saying that. The second appointment is with the uh, surgeon, and the surgeon is going to give me um, all of my pre-op lab work to get done, and then June 3rd, I will be in surgery. So, very excited about that. I just uh, hope, hope, hope they don't reschedule my surgery because I haven't lost enough in my pre-op diet. Um, I don't know if that's ever happened, if that's just an unfounded um, concern or not. But it's a concern nonetheless, so I'm nervous about it getting rescheduled. It feels like it's never going to happen until I'm actually at the hospital with IVs in my arm. That's really kind of how it feels after waiting for a year. Anyway, I'm super excited. I am off right now to go take a walk. I haven't been exercising because the reduction in calories has really taken a toll on me. Uh, my energy level is in the toilet. And my um, and as a result, I just haven't felt motivated to exercise. I'd rather sleep. But I can't keep using excuses because this is my life and I need to take control of it. So I'm walking right now to go pick my nephew up from school. And it's uh, one mile there and one mile back. And uh, I'm just going to continue to walk and walk and walk my butt off and hopefully see some calories drop and feel some energy pick up. And hopefully not be so hungry because that's a really big problem right now is I'm super duper hungry. So, uh, that's it. And, uh, wish me luck. I will give another update after my appointment in my class next week. And hopefully the next update you'll get from me will be right before surgery. Talk to you soon. Bye.